it surprised me because he was, um, I for, he was, and I forget what the subject was yesterday, it may have been in, in, in jobs, but he used the example of space and, and developments in, in our exploration of space so far that have benefited mankind here on Earth and have resulted in job, in, in uh, devices or technologies that have been spawned here on Earth because we serendipitously discovered that, it, it, you know, while trying to figure out how to best live and work in space. So he, he talks about it, he refers to it all the time. If you, if you go back and look at any of his speeches on education, he always makes reference to NASA and the, the, the achievements of NASA through the years and the way that it inspired him as a kid. So he has never shrunk uh, from using us as an example of the type of organization that he feels is needed to inspire young kids. Uh, what he's also done is he's given us the money to go off and do some of the things that people have been talking about. Uh, you know, if we had had uh, the level of funding that, that we're seeing in this 2011 <laughs> budget um, five years ago, um, might, might be telling a different story right now. We might all be telling a different story. But, but what happened, you know, is now water under the bridge. We can't go back and I can't convince, I don't think I can convince Congress to, uh, to give me $7 billion additional over the next X number of years to, to uh, you know, to take Constellation in its present form to its fruition. But I hope I can convince Congress that all the biomedical research that has been done uh, the support for something called the National Space Biomedical Research Institute that's headquartered up at, at Methodist Hospital, you know, is led by Dr. Bobby Alfred. All that's, that, that money, a lot of that comes under the umbrella of the Constellation program. We'd be foolish to throw all that research and all that capability away. So when I talk about wanting to find things inside that are embedded in the Constellation program that we think are essential, those are the kinds of things that I think we're going to find. But we need, we need some time, we, you know, we need some months to really go and look in earnest at what is, what is the Constellation program. It is huge. It's massive. Some things did better than others because, it got, because they got funding. Uh, some things did worse than others because we took money away figuring, okay, we'll give it back next year. And, and, you know, there was no money to give it back because it didn't come as it was promised. So that's what we're trying to do. And, and what I can promise you, and I, and I have told the president this, um, when you give me a budget, then we're going to design a program that fits inside that budget. And, and then we are going to hope that between the White House and Congress, Everybody will sign up for this, and they will hold our feet to the fire, and we will perform uh, such that the program continues to grow inside that budget line, and it stays on schedule. And and I'm, you know, I I'm not comfortable because I wasn't here. Uh, I'm not comfortable that I could have done that with Constellation. Constellation technically is an incredible program, but it's a massive program that that I need to have the opportunity to take a look at and see which pieces we can use and which pieces have been overcome by events because, you know, there are 1990s technology or 2000 technology and there is now something from 2010 that, that is better. Just curious, looking at Facebook, there's a, a huge groundswell of support for the program. There, there's a group that opened up, I want to say late Thursday, early Friday, has just over 10,300 members all saying, please don't cut this program. But for people who may be following this from a different way, way of looking at things, how, how do you best address their concerns that some of those things that are working will be carried forward in the coming years? You know, base, best thing I can do is help definitize the, the follow-on program, as Mike said, so that he can then start a, assigning people uh, and building organizations to support that program. Uh, and we're not there yet. Um, you know, the, I, what I appreciate is that there are people who now are either becoming aware or being made aware of the value of human spaceflight and the value of exploration and have chosen to, you know, to, to, to look at the Constellation program and the opportunities that it presented. Uh, what I would ask that groundswell of people to do is help us look inside the details of the program 
to help us identify those pieces and parts that you might want to convert 